all that at the end to the point, then it's going to be um, easy for the long term, but, but a, a, a really a thoughtful approach to picking the correct CMS and the one that can do all the things which we identify the priority of those things is when we, we get that in there. Mike? Um, and then the next step is to do comprehensive training. Uh, we will sit down and we'll go do hands-on training through the content management system so that uh, whoever needs training can uh, attend the session and they'll know how to make updates, uh, all updates. Uh, we'll go through everything and uh, I think we have a pretty good track record, record because we don't get very many calls of how do you do this in the content management system. And so, um, and when we implement the website, we want to make it as easy as possible to, uh, for you to update those content. Uh, I think a lot of times people will hard code certain things in so then you can't update it or you have to keep coming back to a, a certain provider. But we want to try and make everything that you need updatable, updatable so that you can do it. Part of the, the hidden process is to actually launch 